Welcome back, True Seeker. Congrats to the winners this morning. Off to a solid start to NFL Week 3. If you didn't have the Dolphins beating the Bills today, you might want to learn Gematria. Quite a few things lined up for Miami for the upset. And they just finished off the game 21-19. 40 points. Today's date numerology is 40, something we talked about. Again, you analyze the numbers of the date of the week of the matchup. You can get ahead a lot on a lot of these games. And let's do a recap of the morning games. Of course, we already hit on Thursday night football with 35 Thursday. Browns getting their 35th win in week three in the coach's 35th regular season game. As for the millionth time, we teach about the significance of that number in rigged NFL every Thursday the, uh, a game that's going to be wrong this morning is the Bengals at the Jets. Joe Burrow, two weeks in a row, burns me. Last week, he could have got his 13th away win in Dallas, where normally 13 plays. This week, he could have got his ninth road loss versus the Jets, where the Jets, who hardly ever win when they do so often, it has to do with the number nine. But two weeks in a row, Joe Burrow burns me. When that happens, I have to, I have to sit back and look, because sometimes, you know, the, the typical numbers you're using for most of these games... A team's on some different kind of ritual. And as the Bengals defending AFC champs, they're clearly doing something different with this team this year, but it can create a Gematria headache. The games that have finished, the Titans over the Raiders. We like the Titans in this game, the favored Titans at home. The Raiders um, quarterback, Derek Carr, he got his 39th away loss and 73rd total loss for the regular season. Nashville equals 39 in the most pure cipher. Nashville, Tennessee equals 73 in the most pure cipher. That's the alphabetic order with numerology. So Carr had a perfect riddle to lose. We like the Dolphins for a lot of reasons, you guys. I mean, it's a lot to explain. But one of the big numbers today that we were looking at was 25 because it's the 25th of the month and the day leaving 97 days left in the year. 97 is the 25th prime. Allen picked up his 25th loss today. And um, plus several other things. There was a lot that lined up for Miami to upset. Um, the Bills also got their 27th, if I'm not mistaken, road loss in week three. Miami equals 27 in the most pure cipher. The Vikings and the Lions, we liked Cousins to win today to get his 61st win and his 37th home win. Detroit Lions equals 61 in the most pure cipher. Detroit equals 37 in the most pure. Again, 61st win, 37th at home. Perfect team to do it against. The Eagles and the Commanders, we liked Ron Rivera to pick up his 22nd loss as coach of Washington. His 22nd all-time loss while coaching Washington. Eagles equals 22 in the most pure cipher. Good number with the Eagles for all the years we've done this. The Bears and the Texans. I thought this one was a little bit iffy. I told people this game was dangerous if you played it hedge, but I favored ever so slightly the Bears because they had a few more things lining up for him. Lovey Smith, who coached the Bears, had a riddle to win, but now he's the Texans coach. So he was the big if, but like I said, usually the QB riddle beats the coach rich riddle. Um, Justin Fields became three and four at home. Texans equals 34. When you run it the other way, Texans equals 20. They lost with 20 points and the Bears became two and zero at home. That 20-34 plays a lot with the Texans and it played again today. A uh, game that definitely smacked me in the face was the Colts beating the Chiefs. The Colts have been the goofiest team this year and um, I'm going to have to figure out what's going on with the Colts too because they are annoying me. And the Ravens beat the Patriots. This game was iffy as well because check this out. Bill Belichick equals 97, right? He won the 97th NFL season. Again, that's the 25th prime. That was the year of the 25-point comeback over the Falcons on 2-5. Brady over Atlanta back when he was in New England down at the game in Houston Texans Stadium. But Harbaugh was on 97 losses today, right? On the day leaving 97 days left in the year. And this game between the Ravens and Patriots was exactly 97 weeks after the last time the Ravens and the Patriots played. Plus 97 is the 25th prime, and Ravens equals 25. So the argument was, does Harbaugh stay on 97 in the game 97 weeks later, or does he pick up his 98th loss? Because both Patriots and New England Patriots equal 98. Now remember, Gematria is based on the alphabetic order and numerology, and the reverse alphabetic order, and the reverse alphabetic order with numerology. Patriots and New England Patriots, they have the connection through the reverse so anyway, that game was dangerous. Ravens did win it. The 97 is what prevailed. And I love the Panthers today. I thought the Panthers were one of the easiest calls this morning because Baker Mayfield got his 19th home win. Saints equals 19 in the most pure cipher. 
And again, remember Sean Payton, when he was the coach of the Saints, was the first coach with or first NFL employee with COVID-19 on the 19 team. So don't forget the only city in America that equals 19 is Seattle, where COVID-19 began, so they tell us. But yeah, it's been a good week. Browns 35 Thursday, liked the Panthers a lot, told people Ravens Patriots was dangerous. I probably was leaning a little bit more towards Harbaugh getting that 98, but like I told people in the stream, I said, you know, the 98 played really hard when Tom Brady was on the team because Tom Brady equals 98, New England Patriots equals 98, Patriots is 98. It hasn't played as hard since he left. And you know what? The Patriots fall to one and two today, kind of like 12, like Tom Brady's number is Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady face each other, number 12 versus number 12. And don't forget a few years back on SNF, they gave a numerology lesson on the number 12, the night Tom and Aaron played each other and Tom, which equals 12, but Aaron doesn't, Tom won that game. Tom's 12 in the most pure cipher, Aaron's 22. But of course, they're the game of the week this week and do have an opinion on that. And again, you guys, shout out to everyone who supports the work. Again, you support this work. You'll win. I'll win. We'll build our numbers. Again, the point is to change the world through every avenue we possibly can. Getting people to wake up to these rigged games, getting people to profit off these games. It can be quite lucrative. So winners, Titans, Dolphins, Vikings, Eagles, Bears, Panthers, Browns. Those are all winners. The losers this week are Colts beating Chiefs, and that would have been a nice payout too. I'm going to have to go back and, and see what I'm missing with the Colts because they're making me pull my hair out this season. And um, and the Bengals-Jets game, got that one wrong, you know. But uh, again, we, we hit a lot more than we miss. And uh, again, shout out to the winners. I was really feeling that Miami upset over Buffalo. There was a lot that lined up. So always use this knowledge. Use your own brain. Pick out the best game. And again, congrats to the winners. Thank you to everyone who supports the Patreon. Link's always in the description. Until next time.